Okay, so I have to be a little bit honest with you. The name of this video was just a smidge clickbait. Um, I mean, there are a lot of secrets in, in Lightroom that I have revealed to you. And the one I'm going to in this video is quite spectacular when it comes to editing, but it's not necessarily Lightroom's best kept secret. But before you click off to another video, I wanna play a quick game. I'm going to try and guess three things about you right now, and if they're correct, then you stay to the end of the video and uh, maybe learn something special. Does that work? I bet you, you're probably thinking, he can't, he can't do that. I bet you I can. Okay, number one, you use Lightroom to edit photos. <laughs> number two, you feel that there's something in Lightroom you wish you could do better. And number three, mm, that's a difficult one. I could easily just say you're watching a video right now, but let me think here, let me think here. Um, how about you enjoy editing, but sometimes it drives you off the freaking deep end, just absolutely insane. Was it right? <laughs> Or was I just talking about things that I think about myself? Well, that could be it too. <laughs> Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over one of the coolest features that Lightroom Classic specifically has. This is not available in Lightroom CC, the cloud version, or Lightroom Mobile. And that is virtual copies. Now, I don't know about you, but I use virtual copies all the freaking time because of how awesome they actually are. Essentially, they are floating digital files that work off the original raw file. They don't add an additional raw file, so they save space. You can remove them, you can add them at will, and you can completely apply new edits to photos in Lightroom without messing up other images, other, other the same other file. So you can have multiples of the same photo with different edits to look at and they're amazing. Anyways, let's get into Lightroom and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here's our photo, right? It's fully edited and we love it. We are done, it is fantastic. But you know what, we wanna get creative. We wanna play around a little, we wanna do something special. So what do we do? Well, let's say we export this photo. So we right click, we go to export and we export the photo and we have the, the image, right? Good, so then we just go here and we change the edit fully, right? Okay, we're just gonna slap on a whole other preset and do the change and, and do that. Well, now we have a completely new edit and we don't know what we did to get to the other edit. So now we've lost that other edit, this one, I didn't actually click the preset, but this one that we love so much. Okay, so how do we fix that? With a virtual copy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to your image here, you're gonna right click on it and you're gonna scroll to create virtual copy. Now this will create a duplicate image right next to it. And this image is our virtual copy. If you look over here, it says copy one. And if I hover over this one, it says the raw file, CR3. Now this didn't create a new raw file. There is no new file in my folder. There's no new image, right? So I can actually do whatever I want to this. Let's go ahead and slap on this preset here. Not that one, this one here and now we have a whole new edit. Now we've applied this. So here is our two photos. So if I press the arrow key over, here's our first one, and here's our second one. Now, what if I wanna do it again? All right, so I'll right click on it, create virtual copy. Now I have a third one, and then we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna put on this preset. Now these may not look great, but I'm just showing it to you for speed. And we can do this as many times as we want. Now, let's say we have all three, we like all three, and we wanna deliver all three, we wanna save them all. So, press shift, click all three, right click on it, go to export, and we export our three files, and these three files use the original raw to create three new images. So now, we have exported three photos with three different edits in no time at all, without messing up our original edit right here. Now, another cool thing about this is, hold up, if you're loving this kind of stuff, I wanna tell you that my Lightroom Master of Editing course just came out, and if you want to learn everything there is to know about Lightroom to create incredible edits, 
in, and understand each individual panel. You get all the raws, follow me on full edits. We go over tips and tricks. We basically cover everything that I personally know about Lightroom. And I'm going to continually be updating this this course because you know Adobe is gonna keep updating Lightroom. So if you want one of the best, if not, if I do say so myself, the best Lightroom course out there, I'll put a link in the description, sign up and I'll see you there. Now, another cool thing about this is if I wanted to, let's deselect these, so Command D. If I wanna get rid of these virtual copies, I can get rid of them without deleting the raw. So if I click on the original, the CR3, the, the raw file, and I press delete. This says remove from Lightroom, delete from disk, right? So if you remove it from Lightroom, you're taking that image out of Lightroom. If you delete from disk, you're deleting the original raw file. That's a no-no, never do that unless you no longer want that image ever. Don't do it. So with, this, with the virtual copy, see it says copy one, and this one says copy two. If I press the delete key, it just simply says remove from Lightroom. So I can click that, remove it, it's out of Lightroom, and now I have the two, but the raw file remains. So that's what makes virtual copies so freaking awesome. It is something I use all the time because sometimes I wanna do different edits and see the different styles of a certain photo. But let me tell you, absolutely a phenomenal game-changing editing tool. And that's today's Lightroom's biggest secrets they never tell you. <laughs> But hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I think we're almost to Christmas, so Merry Christmas early. I know we're not there yet, but Merry Christmas early. And uh, if you're looking for something new, YouTube recommends this video. I recommend this video. If you want to subscribe, hit that. I'll see you guys next week.